Hello, today this is Olivier and today I'm going to be making a concrete canvas. I've done this video before, I've actually done uh, how to make a concrete canvas and how to paint, paint a realistic uh, concrete wall and both those videos got trashed with dislikes and comments like it's not helpful, we don't know what you're doing. So I thought, do you know what, let's make them again. So I'm going to start by making um, a concrete canvas and later on I'll do another video about how to do a concrete looking wall on plaster. So, to do this, I went and bought some uh, ply. This is marine ply. It's, it's the same as normal ply, but it's denser. It's, uh, it's thicker, it's denser. Because this is going to be used as artwork, I wanted good quality and it's a lot heavier as well. This is probably about twice, maybe one and a half the weight of normal plywood. Um, but I, I'm going to do like A0, which is 120 by 80 ish. So I'm going to cut a piece and I'm going to use some of those which I found on the street this morning. And I'm going to make a frame around it and uh, I'm going to make it look jagged just as though it was sort of an artwork in the street and somebody took a chunk of the wall. So that's the plan for today. So, what I'm going to use. Uh, I'm just going to explain the materials first and then I'll get to building uh, the frame. I mean, I'll build the, the canvas and then I'll put this on. I was kind of um, in two minds. I was going to use this. This is expanding foam, which is um, a very cool product. I've done one of those before with <coughs> foam balls and expanding foam. It's really cool and it looks so realistic, like when this bubbles up and you tear pieces, it looks exactly like concrete once you paint it. But the problem is, because I'm going to be selling it for a good amount, uh, I want it to be really durable. And this, obviously, in transport, if I was to send it to China or America or something, um, I don't really trust that this being strong enough. And the same with foam board. Very cool material, love using this, but not for that. So, I'm only going to be using uh, plywood, wood, and this. So, this is flexible um, adhesive, tile adhesive. Uh, you got different brands. This is MAPE, the one I used on the previous video was, can't remember. Um, but it's flexible adhesive. So, it's basically waterproof for bathrooms and everything. And it's very important that you get a flexible uh, uh, tile adhesive because if you don't on wood, because wood always breathes, so if you put it on there, it'll crack. And the whole point of doing this, as opposed to using cement or concrete, is um, it won't crack. If you do a slab of concrete and you don't reinforce it with metal, it's going to crack. And the thing is going to weigh a ton, so you can't do an artwork and sell it to somebody. This is manageable. So, for this, <coughs> you need to use this product, or whatever product, flexible filler, uh, sorry, flexible tile adhesive, and you even mix it with latex, they recommend latex, but I'm going to use PVA glue because that's what I used last time, and whatever, it works just the same.
so here is the canvas at the moment. Uh, so I've wrapped up the edges with the um, rasp and file and made it all cool. And also, I've made the second one. Add the offcuts of uh, this bolt, so I put them together, join them in the middle with a bar and some screws. And uh, this one, I've given it a different look. I've used my Dremel to have more of a dent kind of thing, you know, holes and everything. Uh, so they're going to be two different looks. <coughs> this is going to be a bit more rough, this is going to be a bit more smooth. So the thing I want to do now is grab a saw and make the surfaces, well everywhere I'm going to put um, the, um, what's this called again, flexible adhesive. I want to rough up the whole thing so then it's got something to bond to.
So this is what it looks like so far. Um, so it's wet, it's gonna take about a day to dry. I'll come back tomorrow and uh, show you what it looks like. And I think what I'm gonna use is, uh, I'm gonna use a spray, spray can, spray paint, because it's really strong. Once it's dry, paint the whole thing so it looks more like, like this sort of gray, a bit more like um, actual concrete, but I don't know, we'll, we'll see. So I'll leave this until tomorrow, but for you, I will see you right now. Okay, it's the next day and here is the final product. So it's uh, it's not fully cured because it's really cold in here. I think it's another day. You can see the, the dark patches are still wet, the light patches are dry. It's crazy how thin this is, but at the same time how strong. Um, I know because I've done this before, uh, I don't know, eight, maybe like, was it six years ago? Um, and those canvases held. So it's kind of, um, it's a really good compromise. It doesn't, you can see how thin this is. It's basically got a, a coat that's so thin, but if you look at it from this side, it really looks um, like a slab of concrete, really heavy, you know, but at the same time, it's manageable. Um, so this is the small one, and the big one is here. I was kind of thinking of um, cutting this one in, in half and uh, doing two small ones instead, because I thought maybe it's going to be a bit big and heavy. But that's when I was at home, and then I got here and I was like, Do you know what? I mean, it's it's not really light canvas by any stretch, mainly because of the marine ply. But it's still manageable, and um, I'm going to be able to do a much better piece on this one. So this is going to be a video that's going to be coming out where I'm going to do a piece on this. And literally, you can feel the wood straight underneath, but it just doesn't look it. So it's, I think it's a really good compromise. Um, so that's that's it for for this. Personally, I think I'm going to wait maybe a day or so until it's fully cured. And uh, I'm going to put some uh, some grey. This is um, a London grey uh, by 94, but you can use whatever. And uh, I think that's a pretty good match for concrete. I think that looks pretty cool. Um, so I'll do that and I'll do a few drips um, to make it look like poured concrete. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching the video. I will be doing uh, the one again about painting a wall uh, like um, like a real concrete or cement. Uh, the same as this, I'll just explain everything step by step. So if you want to follow along, you can. So thanks a lot for watching. Make sure you subscribe, put a like on this video, and I will see you on the next one.